everyone. Welcome to the Satellite of Love. I'm Mike Nelson. You caught us at kind of a weird time. See, we're being dragged back through this wormhole by Pearl Forrester and her minions. We don't know where we're going to end up. End of wormhole in sight. Prepare for rapid deceleration. Oh. 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 Come on, Mike. Where'd you learn that little number from Shatner? <laughs> what? I just, just fell down. Overdramatic. Hey, a planet! Oh, great. Yeah, some new whacked out world. You know, damn it, I'm just not in the mood this time. But it's, it looks like Earth. Oh, but it's going to be some weirdo parallel universe Earth yeah. where the only sentient beings are zucchinis, <laughs> right? Huh? No. All data indicates that it is, in fact, our Earth. Ah, yeah, sure, but it's like a jillion years in the future, and yeah. super intelligent koala bears rule the planet, right? You know, that'd be kind of cute, actually, little Grow guy. up, Mike! No, it's our Earth, in the exact time we left it so long ago! Hooray! I guess. We'll be right back. Our own time? Yeah. Cool! We can see Ethan Hawke movies again! Yay! Yeah. Hooray! Yes. Maybe not. I don't know. That, that's, that's not a good thing, is it? No, no, that's bad. Giant dogs are probably running the Department of Transportation oh, and Hey, look, what. fellows! Pearl's calling! Yeah, sure, right. It's probably a turnip headed Pearl from the eighth dimension right, with Give it a rest now, Tom. That's enough. Come in, Mrs. F. Hello, Mike. Robots. Cool place, huh? I don't know where we are. All I know is... Oh, Lord, the rupture! Oh. Bobo, don't play with my luggage. Set it down. Roger. Oh. I somehow feel connected to this place, Mike. As if I have been drawn here by forces greater than myself. Hey, shut up! I beg your pardon. Yeah, don't do that! And stop with the whispery hissing. You sound like a Brian Eno record. Well, it's not me, Pearl. I'm sensing the presence of several disembodied souls wandering these dark halls in search of Circe's, an end to their endless night. A howl of quiet desperation towards an indifferent universe. Nepenthe! Nepenthe! You are so gay. I could be wrong. I don't know. played before. <laughs> Did I miss it? Rock and roll! Hey! Mama put a suck in it! Mike, robot pals, in all my travels throughout this vast cosmos, never have I felt so drawn to a place. It is as if I have come home. I know now where I am. My ancestral homeland, Castle Forester. This is so freaking cool! Bobo! Quit clowning around and bring my lab equipment. All of it! Nelson, get into that theater. I've got things to do. Brain pull! Yes, madam. Dude, oh, sorry. send them a movie. Ah. Uh, something hurtful. Yeah. Something lancinating. Right. Searing. Ah. <laughs> Excruciating. Yeah, okay, then. <laughs> oh, something English. Ah, perfect. Mike and little sidekick pals, your movie this week is a tepid little serving of British cuisine called The Projected Man. It's quite, quite bad. <laughs> Oh, mama. 
Yeah, we gotta go. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Fabergé presents The Incredible Edible Earth. Bing. Oh, it's the end. I guess we were late. Oh, let's go. <laughs> I guess we'll go. Yeah, right. No, stay right here. Oh, Such luck. luck. Michael Tony and Klinger Tensor present So it's an orange with a marble in it locked in a vice. Huh. Right? With Mary Bryant and Peach Halliday. <laughs> okay. Brian Halliday, he's a great Ferrelli, isn't he? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> you know. Versus the overhead projected man. He's the guy other people project their inadequacies upon. <laughs> Let's try something in a green good there. Is that scarier for you? Featuring Heinz Kidd and yeah, Scully Mike. Norm. Mike. Oh, really? sorry. Is this the right of spring? Should we be rioting right now? <laughs> the story of the AV Club. Just because you show us a projector doesn't mean we're convinced there's a projected man. Stanley Pavey, big, stinky, crappy director of photography. BSC. Also starring Art Peter, second Brian assistant camera, with editor holding Cooney writer Come lines. on, Mike. Please. It's not funny. I say C, 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 Cooney. Oh, wait. I say S, G, Ryder. I say S. It's funny. <laughs> oh, so it's my fault, Mr. Brian Blamey. So far, the continuity lady's doing a real good job. Okay, it's an all skate now. Is this movie getting its colors done? It's a mood movie. Project my love to you, projecting in your heart. I will project my love on you. <laughs> Mike, let's just torch the theater and get out of here. Come on. Well, I'm with you. There, he's projected. The end. Yay. We're on. Da, 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 da. Hey, a jaunty jalopy. You want to watch where you're going? There is having a Pretty you may be. Um, he said pretty you may be, ma'am. I'm not sure what he meant. I go past the drawings of turkeys made out of kids' hands into Miss Jenkins' class. Um, driving she may be. Ah, uh, parking. What a way to establish character can create tension. An exhaust system she may need. Check this out. She's wearing an entire alpaca around her neck. I can't believe I have to retake third grade. Ah, London. <laughs> Are they worried that this would be too top-heavy, too much action at the front of the movie? <laughs> Will you be having recess today, ma'am? Well, bye. Bye hey. now. They make cardboard rolls, and that's all they do. Dr. Hill. Dr. Yes. Benny Hill. Professor Steiner is expecting you. I'm Sheila Anderson, the department secretary. Would you come in here, please? Follow my flip. Dr. Hill, Professor Steiner. Come in, come in. My ugly little dummy. Oh, it's wonderful to see you again. And piggy to you. Well, cram it, you big... I do apologize. <laughs> On the spur of the moment, I could think of no other code name for you to give the guards. That wasn't what I meant. I haven't changed. Or taken a shower. And you standing there as if the years had suddenly dropped away. Oh, Paul, that was a long time ago. Call me a pig again. What's the problem that you want to discuss with me? I have a bad henna rinse. Swill for ya. Oh, thank you, Miss Anderson. And that will be sex. All, all. <laughs> oh, Miss Anderson, is Dr. Mitchell in? Yes, sir. Mitchell? He went into the lab. Oh, would you ask him to set up a test run? I'll be along presently. And bring some ham. I love it. 
I'm working on the conversion of solid objects into pure energy. Uh -huh. Energy which can be stored in a cell composition, projected over long distances, and then turned back into the object again. <sighs> All kinds of objects, yeah. including human tissue. Human Ooh. tissue? Yes. Tissue. Now, television. Television is one method of transferring a visual image from one place to another. Maybe. But the image is flat, two-dimensional, lacks life. And needs a receiver. Like Chris Collinsworth? What I have achieved is the projection of an object in three dimensions, something that has weight, depth, and body. And orange hair. And without a receiver. So not like Chris Collinsworth. Yesterday, I achieved my first projection of a living creature. You're drinking it. Fortunately, something went wrong, and the subject died. But how long did it oh. live? Oh, two uh, to three minutes. I want you to tell me why it died. Mm whether there was any change in the cellular structure during projection. What I need to correct. Well, don't kill things. What's the principle that you employ? Mr. Weatherby, as usual. I'll show you. Come with me. We'll take the tube to the derby, hop the lift, and see about my schedule. Eat it. Go on. Eat it. Come on. Uh, Mitchell. Don't poke things in the thing. I'd like you to meet Dr. Hill. She'll be joining us on our project. I would say we'd met before. Well, almost. Uh, Mitchell is an expert on laser. I'm afraid I know very little about it. Oh. Well, then fit her out of the heat chute, explain it to her, and I'll go set up the console. There? Uh, Professor Steiner. I had to tell Dr. Blanchard you wanted another experimental run. Uh-oh. And? He's given his permission on this occasion. In future, he requires 24 hours' notice. And you've been instructed to see that he gets it? <laughs> I have. You're an ugly, stupid little doctor. Dr. Blanchard's the director of this foundation, isn't he? Mm, you can say that again. I'm in the middle. Caution, my filling is hot. <laughs> you were going to tell me about laser. Sorry. Well, I expect you know it's a way of overcoming the scattering of light waves. Mm -hmm. In its simplest form, we put an electric current through a mixture of neon and helium gases. Now, right. when the light is amplified and emitted, it becomes a coherent source of power. Well, sure. It doesn't go off in all directions. Exactly. Hey. Listen One up. very narrow beam that can transmit four signals and all the television and radio channels put together. It's uh, light in a new form, uh -huh. which I have modified to transmit matter itself. Are they suiting up for NASCAR here? <laughs> Pasty Labs, where nothing is distinct. <laughs> now, I'd like to demonstrate with something of your own, Pat. Uh, something you'd recognize. Your knickers, perhaps. My watch, too? Couldn't be better. Come with me. Well, actually, your knickers would be better, but uh, that's fine. This is the transmission cradle. Where your knickers might have it gone. It's a massive magnetic field. It's got a roll bar. Now, the watch. Knickers would be ideal, but the watch, that's, that's fine. Fine. Imagine sending a watch three feet across the room. Now, put your visor on and stand back. But keep your eye on the watch. You made your decision. Knickers are bigger. Still, your tiny, unseeable watch is what we have and will at least make the best of it. Yes, sir. I'm gonna kick in the sheet metal cutter now. Switching on the Evan Rood. Releasing the cicadas now. Hit the valveless trumpet. Hey, there's Steel Town Girls on a Saturday night. Hmm. Oh, I'm fading, fading. I was water resistant to 30 meters. I was a clamshell design. Could I at least see you, Nickers? Duran Duran is going to pop in now, right? <laughs> Neat. Do you have the time? What has happened at this stage is that the basic matter of the watch has been transformed into pure energy and is stored over there in that cell uh -huh. forever if necessary. Now, we wish to transmit that energy, to project the watch, in fact. But since we can't, we'll nip out and have a cuppa. Uh, I really control it and stuff. <laughs> I assume Dean Jones will be in this eventually. Oh, yeah. Probably. Laser preheat. Laser preheat. Hit. Grease and flour cake pans. Laser emission relay. Laser emission relay on. Bottom falling out of plot. Movie sucks. Are we not blokes? Relay one. Relay one. Hit. Really dumb scene, end. Relay two. Relay two, <laughs> on. Ow. My 
here come the dogs. Project. Dispense soft serve. Oh, he just tosses the watch over there. Oh boy, where was I? Now. We'll see what happens to your watch. And then move on to your knickers if you're comfortable. Tick, tick, tick. Tick, 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 tick. Tick, tick, tick. Still want it? Incredible. I succeed every time with an inanimate object. If only I could do the same thing with a living creature. Oh, keep that to yourself, man. Fortunately, there's a gap between the molecular structure of metal and that of living tissue, which I must bridge. What are these bones? Oh, well, that's something we still don't quite understand. Oh, it... look at the watch. Cat kit, 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 cat kit. Would it be possible for the direction of the magnetic field, the polarity, to. No, we thought of that, no. Change in projection? No. I suppose it could. I've never really thought about it. I'd better start thinking about it. If this kind of distortion is present, no wonder the guinea pig died. <gasps> Murderers. They were using guinea pigs as guinea pigs. No, a shock. You know, maybe there is something in my theory. Look what the shock has done. It's almost time for high tea. A human okay, being okay, could okay. survive a time transition of that kind. Not without fearful consequences. Well, Wally down in research survived a time transition yeah. of that kind one time. Yeah. Kramer! Uh oh. Just returned from Savare with Lord Melbury. Who are you? I'm assisting Professor Steiner. Who are you? Dr. Blanchard, director of this foundation. Well, then you should know better than to startle me when I'm focusing a microscope. Wow, can I look? Let me see your identification card. <laughs> Certainly. This is a classified division. The work is secret. No one is allowed in without my permission. She has permission. Mine. I'm Mr. Rogers. Dr. Hill is working here at my own expense. Even so, an arrangement of that sort requires my authority. What name did you say? Dr. Hill. Dr. Patricia Hill. Oh, old Tin Pants Hill. I'm extremely sorry, Dr. Hill. I apologize for the moment. I didn't recognize you. Maybe it's my overall or the lighting. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm sure you'll be of great assistance to Professor Steiner. Yeah. She already has been. With her help, I'm on the verge of demonstrating proof of my theory. I'm glad to hear it. I'll just get out of the movie then. Sorry. Oh, uh, by the way, Steiner, I hope Dr. Mitchell made it quite clear this morning that I cannot agree again to these demonstrations being taken at short notice. Mitchell. Quite clear. <laughs> you see, I have to warn other projects that may be needing power. These uh, matters have to be properly programmed. I said Dr. Mitchell made your point. Good. I'll just turn into a wolf then. Well, uh, I won't interrupt you any further. Good night, Professor Steiner. Dr. Hill? May I climb you sometime? Please don't think the Foundation finds you unwelcome. Thank you, Dr. Blanchard. Uh, just going to visit my bow ties. Cheerio. Paul, look at this. Oh, chipped a tooth on the bangers and mash, yes. Mitchell. Mitchell. I uh, want you to regard what I'm about to say as highly confidential. Yes, sir. I'm a she-male. Um, I've been instructed that next Tuesday, the Ministry is sending Professor Lemback of the Geneva Institute down mm. to witness the demonstration of Professor Steiner's projection experiment. Professor Lemback, yes, sir. Obviously, it will be necessary for you to know. You will have preparations to make. But uh, I would be obliged if you didn't mention the visit to Professor Steiner. Mm. Th that is for the time being. But Dr. Blanchard, I... Mitchell, Mitchell, please, please. Shh, hush, Lambkins. There are reasons why the visit should not be announced. I will myself inform Professor Steiner in ample time. In that case, why tell me? Well, you're my sweet cookie pants. As I said, Mitchell, you are my representative, not Steiner's. That should be sufficient. I still don't understand. Don't make me go to the larder and unseal a tin of whoop-ass. The Right Honorable Sir David Cassidy. It's not going to be as simple as we thought. I had hoped that Lemback's visit would throw him, but he, he seems to be more, more advanced than I'd imagined. He, he's brought in a pathologist. You're in no position to allow anything to go wrong now. Yes, meow, you know. Oh, mm, it's a tire, well, then. I, mm -hmm. yes. You meow. have to use your position with the Ministry to delay the demonstration until I find out how far he's got. Put it off. It's a mince off. Days, heckling the Minister to arrange it. But you'll have to accept that things have changed in three days. The bickering explodes across the screen. <laughs> you may have achieved some sort of breakthrough. 
I must find out before any official demonstration could possibly... I'm quite uninterested. Really, I am. Yes, that demonstration will yes, take place, yes, but it will fail. Steiner must be discredited in front of an official party. A good one, man, yeah. Right on. sure that it will fail. If not, there are certain aspects of your warm and cozy private life that suddenly will become much more widely known. All right. All right. <laughs> good. We're agreed, then. <laughs> so what do I do with this thing again? Oh, right there, yeah. Warm and cozy private life? Does he know of my strolls by the ducky pond and my Sunday visits with mummy? Bite down. Overture, light the lights. <laughs> okay, now cut that styrofoam with a saw. Fire up the leaf blowers. All right, tease the howler monkeys. And they are making so many keys in there. Yes, the same thing you've seen before, only it's happening again. <laughs> hey, hey, I was called in as a consultant. Wait, you said you needed my opinion. What are you doing? Wow, is she breastfeeding him all of a sudden? Was she Tori Amos? Big boxes of spare monkeys up there on yeah. the shelf. Yep. <laughs> I'll have to do a more careful examination. Hey, use gloves, all right? I think I can pronounce the patient fit and well. <laughs> oh, that's splendid. Congratulations. <laughs> hey, do I get a kiss, too? Why, certainly, Chris. Oh, you mean from her. I'm oh, sorry. You know, it needed such a tiny adjustment to counteract that time phase. Well, there's nothing to prevent me calling the ministry and arranging a demonstration. Chris, get the glasses. I think we deserve a celebration. This is really going to embarrass Blanchard. Oh, really? Don't be too harsh on him. After all, it's his job, and we're not one of his pet projects. You're too generous. Blanchard hasn't spoken to you. About what? Well, we have to buy our monkeys from Sam's Club. <laughs> Something that concerns us all. Tell well, us. it's supposed to be confidential. He's arranged a demonstration. He's done what? For Tuesday. The Ministry are bringing Professor Lembach down. He told me days ago and ordered me not to tell you. Well, what does he expect to gain? I can't believe it, unless he's so childish, he thinks he can embarrass me. The bloody Darby. Chris, don't tell him you told me. Don't even tell him we've succeeded. Don't even ever talk again, ever. Be childish, <laughs> too, and surprise <laughs> him. On an odyssey, your class ring goes. Projected from here to another reality, living a new life. Yeah, really. I, you you really transported it. You, I mean, it's not just you know, gone. Oh, like Servo and I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> uh, we just do this projector together, buddy. Hey, Come on. Uh, what you got in your hand there, Mike? Oh, oh no, not this. This is my Saint Blaise medal. Uh -huh. My grandma gave it to me. It protects me from all ailments of the throat. And it will continue to protect your throat. Only it will be doing it someplace else. Exactly. Now let's give it a shot. Well, okay, if you're sure. Slap it down. Again, transported molecule for molecule, um, someplace else. Right. Okay, where? Oh, around. Yeah. Now, Mike, have you got anything else we could project, please? Uh, I don't think, oh, well, you know what? I do have these, uh, these love letters from Denise. Ah, uh, good, good, yeah. good. She, uh, she wrote all of these right be- Right, throw them down. down. Right before she, uh, before she died. Right, before she died. Come on, throw them down. Yeah! <laughs> there they go. Hmm. You know what? Uh, if I didn't know better, I think you guys were just burning the things that mean the most to me and thinking it was funny. <laughs> you know, though, I can see where you think that, Mike. I want you to know it's patently untrue. Yeah, what he said. Now, what else you got? <laughs> I'm fresh out. You got. Oh, you know what? I do have uh, one more thing that may oh, serve your purpose. <laughs> All right. Wow, that one really meant a lot to me. Yeah. <laughs> I'll bet it did. What was it? Uh, Tom's autographed picture of Shirley Jones. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait a minute. No, no. Oh, Shirley. Yeah, take it easy, Tom. It's not like it's gone or something, right, Crow? <laughs> That's absolutely right, Mike. <laughs> we'll be right back. Oh, for fun. Huh? We have fun around here. Yep. I'm tremendously excited over this demonstration. I Shirley Jones. Yeah, yeah, well, <laughs> it's around. <laughs> In some ways, I think it's a pity the job is it couldn't have been delayed, Professor. I'm sure Steiner would prefer to demonstrate at a later date. There are urgencies. 
Projected man! It's a remarkable development, Paul, but I don't understand how you've overcome the time element. Oh, well, you will very soon. Shall we start? Mitchell? Mitchell. Check that everything's ready. Yes, Professor. I was about to get shot down anyway. Women hate me, you know. Padded doors. They have a lot of wrestling matches in here. Where would you like to go? I'd rather Paul didn't know. But, but I thought you said... I did, and I meant it. It's... Oh, I don't know. He's on edge. I, I wouldn't want to do anything that would precipitate... Uh, excitement or plot development. Mm -hmm. You trust that. Well, what's that got to do with me taking you out to dinner? Well, nothing, really. It's just him and his work I'm thinking about. So it's popcorn and girls of the Big Ten for me again, huh? In here, Professor Lembach. Turn me down, anyone? Anyone want to turn me down? Ready? Ready. This will be fun. <laughs> Dr. Hill will show you the subject for the first part of our demonstration, which is the transformation what? of the subject into stored what? energy. I can't. Uh, please watch the subject carefully when I give the signal to transform. Freedom! You know, despite all my rage, I'm still just a rat in a cage. Uh, I think the dryer's done. Let's project the hell out of this rat. Secondary relays in. Wow, a lot of blood in that rat. Transmit. Wait, almost ready. Just cleaning up. Groom, groom, groom. Gotta keep clean here. Hang on. Wait. Because I can, by the way, if you must know the answer. Uh, you guys know you're turning me invisible, right? I mean, you're the humans. I assume you know what you're doing here. <laughs> Hello? The animal now is in the form of pure energy, huh? which is stored in that cell over there. Uh -huh. I will now project the animal onto the target what? table. What? No, we nothing have in here. the time lag element, huh? which caused death in our early experiments. Please watch the target table. Yes, no more tedious carrying rats across the room. Laser preheat. Laser preheat. In. Laser emission relay. Laser emission John. relay. On. On. Relay one. Or better, relay two. Relay two. Ah, I have to go. Uh, okay, you're really scared of new situations. Action, old guys. Cut the power. Cut the power that be. By mistake, he cut the cheese. <laughs> India must be so embarrassed to have been ruled by these twits. Yeah. <laughs> Got some clotted cream in the car. I wish this was Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke. Yeah, all I know is I hope this movie has a good vent hood. Gonna need it. Power line to the story cell is completely burned out. Down. Just like depriving the brain of blood. Down. It's completely destroyed. So we can't project the rat? He's gone wherever good rats go. <coughs> what was Mitchell ever thinking of? Why, what's it got to do with him? Maintenance, it's part of his function. Perhaps he's just loyal to Blanchard. Paul, that's unfair, and you know it. I don't know anything anymore. It just makes my hair all orange. <laughs> what 
What about Blanchard? Have you seen him? Oh, he ran off with Lembach and that man Latham like a scalded cat. Well, you must explain. We must try and arrange another... Paul, what do you want? You parked me in. Check. Well, it's a bit late for excuses. Oh, Paul, please. I'm not making any. Look at this. They're burned through. That's hardly surprising. Look at the leads. Well, they're burned through. What should I expect? I specifically told you to check everything. I did. You still can't see what's wrong. You pumpkin-haired ponce. Those are acid burns. <sighs> Sabotage. Power built up, the natural heat in the wires completed the rupture. So we bought it a truss. I'm surprised we weren't all killed. I'm disappointed by it. Yeah, <laughs> Who would want to do such a thing? Somebody who wanted to make sure the experiment was never completed. Well, it doesn't make any difference. It'll be months before we can be ready again. But I can replace this overnight. We can't replace the story cell without it. The apparatus is useless. I think it's only shorted. Shut up and get orange hair. Well, if you're right, then we can recharge it. I'm darn sure we can. How long is Lembach staying? <gasps> I'll find out. The tension. How long is Lembach staying? I'm oh. afraid this takes oh. precedence oh. over dinner. You see, I love Lembach. Chris, what does it mean? Well, the idea that somebody would want to destroy mm -hmm. Paul's mm -hmm. discovery. Mm -hmm. well, it frightens me. Mm -hmm. But if that was their intention, they certainly haven't succeeded. If we work day and night, get the apparatus in order, achieve another perfect projection, we can convince everyone, including Blanche. Then the movie will be off and running. Yes. Right. Always do with a mate. Lembach is staying in London for another few days. Arranges a date for me to have dinner with him at Blanchard's house. Well, then you'll be able to convince him. Yes, but someone seems to be trying to prevent me. Oh, that's the voice of despair. I'm sure we can get it in order again. Do you think so? Yes, I do. Yes. I stand here talking. I never even get started. A uh, pad. What if something leads to the premature departure of Lembach? I wish I could be fully sure I trust him. Why should? You're the only one I have faith in now, Pat. Don't desert me. What do you mean? He's paid by the foundation, not by me. I thought he was paid by the hour. Oh, Pat, I've yeah. been watching both of you. From the bushes. Be very careful before you go too far. Before I doff my knickers, you mean? Paul, you're tired. I think you ought to go home and rest. I'll call you as soon as he's ready. No. I have to be sure that I'm ready. Why? What do you have in mind? An idea. Nothing more. I've got to go spot clean the monkey. Zacko. But I have succeeded. Oh, my dear Paul, this is neither the time nor the place to argue so vehemently. You tell him, Now we sit comfortably digesting Dr. Blanchard's excellent dinner. I am not arguing. I am stating facts. I have only to call my two assistants who are waiting. I can arrange a demonstration tonight. Yes. Now, Steiner. You are behaving inexcusably. And in front of Lembach. You were only invited because Professor Lembach wanted to meet you again before returning to Geneva. This is unfair. My demonstration was ruined. My Demonstrations do go wrong, Paul. I do not hold it against you, but I cannot remain in London. I'm needed in Geneva. My demonstration was sabotaged. Oh, nonsense. It's true. I have evidence. This is my evidence. A solenoid? It doesn't take a technical mind to see the acid burns on the ends of the connection. If there had been sabotage, Dr. Pichu would have told me. At my request, he did not. Come with me and see for yourself. Shut up! Made you look. I had no intention of telling you tonight, but now you are forcing me. Only this morning, my committee decided they've gone far enough. Your experiment will be abandoned. Tomorrow you will start dismantling your laboratory to make room for another and more urgent project. A second bathroom. I cannot accept your decision. It, it, it's monstrous. I've achieved success. You cannot deny me my demonstration. You have no choice. Lambach, do something. How long will you gentlemen be here? For some time. Why? Then I will give you evidence that will force you to acclaim my discovery. Funding intrigue. I cannot allow my friend to leave in this state of mind. Yes, sir. There's cake. I think it would be better to leave him alone. Were you not hard on him, Doctor? It was not of my seeking. And in any case, he had to be told. Under the circumstances, this seemed as good a time as any. What were his prospects of success? One in crap dillion. <laughs> uh, like most other advanced experiments, limited. 
Ah, oh, the world is in there. Oh, it's just a British phone. Okay. Wow, it's close. Hello? Oh, Dr. Hill. No, he isn't back yet. Not back. Have you heard from him? No. Hmm. It's getting very late. Oh. I can't stay much longer or I'll miss my bus. Funny. Who is it? It's Dr. Hill. Yeah, well, too bad. Sheila, I need your help. Of course, Professor. All right, come with me. Leave it. But it will be Dr. Hill again. I said leave it. We're going to the Cliff Richards concert. Was it Hill again? Will them back stay? I want to know why oh. Sheila put the telephone down. If he did... But he said he would call as soon as he was ready. I think something's wrong. I want to go back to the laboratory and find out what's happened. All right, all right. I want to know what's happened, too. Let's just swing by Lembax and see if anything's going on. Yeah. Yum -ba -dum -dum -dum. Oh, hi. Can you give me a lift? <laughs> I love it. Was that originally built for squirrels? Or... My Uriah Heap compilation tape is almost done. Man, VCRs were complicated back then. Wow. Whew. Whoa. I'm sure I'll never get it right, Professor. Now, don't be frightened, Sheila. When I raise my hand... Panic! Press this. Oh. When all these lights are on, press this. This is my tuxedo shirt. Press this. <laughs> the sound will then die down and rebuild. I've programmed the entire second stage. All you have to remember is when all these lights are burning, Press, press this. this. Yeah, press this. I understand, Professor. Now, don't be frightened. When this is all over, you could tell your boyfriends that you helped trigger an experiment that made scientific history. Uh, my boyfriend is Linus Pauling, so I don't think he'll care. Ah, forget it. Oh, oh, Sheila. Mm. Yes. But first, a song. The sod hula hoops are ready. I'm doing it all for you, Lambac. Now we'll come out half man, half wristwatch. <laughs> I'm gonna fax my butt over to Lambax. <laughs> I like Ringo best. Wagons ho! Mrs. Debbie Frankenstein. My fall is falling. Golden Arches, he's Mick projecting himself. Me. Peter, don't touch him! Oh, she immediately touches him. <laughs> Excuse me while I disappear. He's trying to project himself. Sheila's interrupted the program. You know, even when stuff's happening in this movie, stuff doesn't happen. Yeah. Be my usual wooden, ineffectual self. I can't stop him. I knew they'd be trying to stop him. Wipe out! Okay, hero's gone, movie's over. Let's go! Let's beat him. You know, at this point, I really do have to agree with cutting off the funding, though. Yeah. Giant nuclear blackhead extractor. Using an intent bringing himself back to the target table. Petula Clark's bedroom, here I come. Wait, there's a fly in there! Stop her, please. The abominable Dr. Sheila. <laughs> that doesn't work. Oh, well, this just isn't done. Well, enough of the film. Let's just sit in the dark for a while. Two luminescent clocks were spotted hovering over London today. Lambac! Where are you? Lambac! It's a Bob Vila Halloween special. Don't push it too hard. We've got plenty of time. Shut up, Gloria. Three more minutes and we're done. I'll go and take a look, see if you've woken up the neighborhood. You get at it. I want some Amontillado. I meant get at that. There'll be time for the other later. Oh, jeez. Uh, the El Shaddai, no. A cat, I expect. I heard a cat make a noise like that. You know, perhaps he was having a bit of fun and she wasn't in the mood. God, everything's an innuendo to these cockney gits. Keith Richards? 
Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it Keith is. Richards. Yep, yep, right. yep. Yep. Ah, got a great fur ball worked up and spraying left and right. What a great life I lead. <coughs> Oops, someone's snapping cats over there. Hey, uh, Gloria, what did I tell you? A flipping cat. Yeah. Relax, flipping. girl. Relax. All right. Oh, gold, I could do with a drink. You'll be getting something more than a drink when we get through this lot. <laughs> what is it with these people? Come on. Harry. There's someone over there by that mound. I can see him moving. Right, go and take a look. If it's a bloke, chat him up. But keep him away from here. I think his cockney's a bit rusty. Yeah. Mm. Hey, it's a brick. A brick. <laughs> from the Wonder Woman line of footwear. Hello there. Cockney salad cream. Time. Hey, I'm eating cat here. <laughs> he ripped her London Times in half. Hey, what the bloody hell she screamed like that for? Well, how should I know? I'm just as dumb as you. I'm gonna take a look. Hurry back, I get lonely. Gloria? G O O R I A? Gloria? In Excelsis Deo. Gloria? I heard they got your number. Oh, wake up. Don't muck about. Yeah, yeah, she's mucking oh, about, laying right. there with no pulse. Yep, she's been goes. shocked to death by a guy with a touch of death mucking who came about. through mucking a about. time portal and she's mucking about. Uh, uh. Hey, Nell Dorado, what? what, what, what? Talking to Lem back. I'm oh. gonna try to convince him to stay. Great cool. idea. Yeah. It'd be so much better if we can just get Lem back to stay. So cool. Yeah. Hello. Uh, oh, hi. Uh, Lembeck, uh, say, this is uh, Mike, Crow, and, and Servo, and we were just wondering if you could, uh, you know, stay a little longer. Stay. Well, I really should be going. Uh, uh, t uh, tell them there's pie. Uh, well, well, there's there's pie. Yeah, and we're and... all going down to shenanigans later. Yes, right, shenanigans. So, so uh, will you stay? Well, okay. All right. <laughs> Lembeck is staying. Lembeck is staying. Lembeck is staying. You can't keep us down, Pearl. Lembeck is staying. Lembeck is staying. Quiet, fool. I found the ancient family diary of the Forrester clan. It's fascinating. Ancient numbers for ancient bookies. Topaz Wallingford Thesenstein Forrester really knew how to play the ponies. And, and here, 1,000-year-old malt liquor labels and an antediluvian form of chicken and a biscuit called Her Majesty's Fool's Hen Crackle Bread. What a rich and marvelous past. What's this? Apparently, my ancestors have always been involved in odd experiments. Amethyst Rogenta Forrester trapped a man in a cave and pushed in bad paintings of the hunt. Emerald Montgomery Forrester trapped a man on an island and forced him to read poorly done parchments. And, and could this be? Aventurine Salbotaford Forrester trapped a man in a tree and told him really bad sagas. It's incredible. I have a feeling I'm on to something here, Nelson. Some power, some force beyond my control. And it doesn't look good for you. <laughs> Lembeck is Lembeck. 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 Lembe
You shouldn't have fallen asleep on the fry, Daddy. One side of his face looks better than it did before. Crawlers, get your crawlers. I got five of them. <laughs> oh, God, his shoes are horrible. I, oh, I guess they're just a little scuffed, actually. Yeah. Keep fine. Projected haggis is more like it. You know, his hair came out looking pretty good. Yeah. Huh? Uh, he's going to check himself into the Pons Institute. What? Pantyhose are on sale? Three for a dollar? Oh, my. He looks like a sockeye salmon. Just needs a dab of dermablend. You know, he could just grow his hair long and comb it over his ugly side. Yeah. Sure grip, because they sure grip. Now just knock up the chemist, purchase a tin of salve. Purveyors of rubber gloves to Her Majesty the Queen since 1673. Good, let's see here. Epsom salts, witch hazel, styptic pencils, mercurochrome, Queen Helena's face scrub, corn plasters, tincture of iodine, gold bond medicated powder. Oh, and the industrial sized tube of Anusol. <laughs> well, I came in here for rubber gloves. I should just stick with that and not go on a big buying spree. Yes, score, and they're isotoners. Yeah. Uh, do you have these in a gray kid leather? <laughs> I'm going to wreak revenge and terror on... Oh, cute barrettes. Wow. Uh, hey, you guys sell fishing licenses? You know, I'd give up half my face if it meant being able to break into drugstores to steal rubber gloves. Sure. In a heartbeat. Is now the best time for him to be doing his Tai Chi exercises? Don't worry, dear. Man, he's been projected 10 minutes and already wants to kill everyone and everything. Yeah. All right, let's say, hey, do you have the lemon Swiss cream mailax or just the mint? A sure grip rubber coat. Wow, what luck. This will go very nicely with the rot on my face. Legalize it then, right out. Ah, the movie finally admits it's dead. Electrocution? You said I'd be gassed. But look, look we, we found them snapped in the middle of a building site. There wasn't a power cable within 100 yards. Come and look. The burns are typical. <laughs> That'll be for me. Inspector Comb over. Ah, Martin, you got it? One fairy slinger. The woman's Gloria King, which must make the other Steve Lowe. <laughs> That's going to make quite a hole in the rogues gallery. I'm sorry about old Harry, though. He was so bloody bad at it. What were they up to, exactly? <laughs> of all things, digging away into the furriers. <laughs> so funny. So crude, they nearly got away with it. What are the pictures? Uh, uh, wait a minute. Will I be able to recognize it? No, no, no don't bother. <laughs> Just round up a few relatives for formal identification. Uh, the cause of death, I'm told, was electrocution. You better get down there and see if you can find out any reason why. Electrocution? Yes, I know. Shocking, isn't it? See you later. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Oh, well, crow. let's have a look. You chaps amaze me. You've hardly finished my examination here. You are putting names to him. Yeah, we amaze ourselves sometimes. Uh, I just put him in my junk drawer. Yeah. That's low, all right. Yep, very low. Right down by the floor. Oh, <laughs> now over here, what? I... And here's where I put my dishes after I eat. Well, well, well. Well. I've seen Harry in a good many positions. So I never Whoa. expected to see him in this one. You silly old fool. Yes, we'd gone through the Kama Sutra together many times. Well, the woman's here, <laughs> right, on the table. She's a floor model on discount. Now, this is one of my victims. I'd say she was scared, too. All three had a similar look. Business casual. Wow, kind of a combination Buddy Sorrell, Bilbo Baggins. Well, after 50 years, I have to admit that huge long eyebrows don't attract women. I thought that damned Lembeck would never go. What's on Steiner's mind? Something pretty spectacular, if I know him. Has he repaired the damage? Just guzzle my expensive brandy, that's fine. I don't know. He and Mitchell have been working day those and night. things are like diving platforms. You ought to get your hands on those tapes of his. You're still sure they're the key to his experiments? Yes, they are. Yes. We should get them tonight, before he removes them himself. Yeah. what is this crap? Yeah. We can get them now. 
But I'm drinking. We. Oui. Well, you then. I hardly think it's my line of country. Well, I can't do it by myself. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. You're the security man. Now, this is what we'll do. Drink, then drink some more. I'll drive into the foundation with you concealed in the boot of my car. You'll be nude, of course. Um, I'll give you my keys. Uh, then we'll drink. You'll find your way up into the main laboratory. Help yourself to the tapes. Uh, have a nip. In the meantime, I'll take the security man up to my office. Ooh. And that way, no suspicion will fall on me. But I've been dating the security man. Oh, you aren't new either, of course. Well, off to Sotheby's to bid in a bow tie. Well, let's go bag a security man. Come on. I suppose I'll shampoo my eyebrows later. Out of the way, you stupid gate. It's the border between East and West England. I want you. Oh, sir, finally. We've been trying to get you on the telephone, sir. Me? What Yes, for? it's Dr. Mitchell, sir. He's waiting up in your office with Dr. Hill and Miss Anderson. Mitchell. There's been some trouble in Professor uh, Steiner's laboratory. Professor Steiner's still here? Uh, well, he did come in earlier, sir. Anybody in the laboratory? No, sir. Oh. Yeah, very good, sir. Did you want yeah. me for anything, sir? Doesn't matter now. He always says he wants me, then it's always just talk, talk, talk. <laughs> Spanish songs in Andalusia, Mandolina, oh, me corazón, oh, 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 no, oh, you could have told me about your stinky gym bag back here. Thanks, they smuggled Morley Safer in. Tension music, you know, makes me tense and I want to hit someone. Now, oh, around this corner, I change into Eyebrow Man. I want you, but not you. Well, it seems just as well that I decided to return tonight. Even so. I find your explanation pure fantasy. To me, it makes sense. Elves did take him. obviously trying to project himself. Into a different movie. Cross on the map. He's exactly on your house. With these calipers, he worked out distance and trajectory from the foundation. Yeah. The graph bears me out. And you are seriously suggesting that he would materialize himself in my study? Well, perhaps not in your study, but in your house, certainly. Dr. Hill, I can understand how upset you are. But what you suggest is illogical. There is nothing illogical in what I am saying. Mm. Then tell me, where is he now? Can't. Sheila unwittingly disturbed the program. It could be anywhere, in any state. You don't have to cry about it, sir. Do we have to keep Sheila here? She looks exhausted. Paul McCartney got married. It's my eyes. They're hurting. I am sorry, Sheila. Maybe she should see a doctor. All right, I'll, I'll see to it. It's past two o'clock in the morning. How will you get home? I can't. Well, well, look, look, look. You just, you just run to your office and, uh, and get those clothes off. Yeah! I'll see that you're driven home. Yes, all of them off now, every stitch. Oh, she's Professor Paul Steiner. I was mixed up. <laughs> Must find eyebrow tweezers. It was an unfortunate accident. None of you can blame yourselves. What exactly happened at your house earlier tonight? Naked Monopoly. Circumstances forced me to tell him the project had been cancelled. But you can't mean it. Not now. It's already been done. As for you, Mitchell, Mitchell. you're suspended from your duties, pending an investigation into your conduct during the course of the project. And the plot thin ends. <laughs> I'm Arthur Godfrey for International Business Machines. Smell the glove. Wow, he should have never played golf with Gerald Ford. I'm five years old. The English Harvey Dent. <gasps> I smell burning eyebrow hair. I declare this movie suddenly great. <laughs> I sense underwear. Oh, 
Oh, please say it's the final print of disclosure. Please, oh, please, oh, please, please. Oh, please. Yeah, just do a couple of chin ups here. Fab. This candy bar's melting. He's gonna have a hard time being a Walmart greeter from here on. I want me. Well, no point of staying here in the dark. I'll be at the security hut. It's not the cancellation dark. is final. Nothing more to be said about it. But I must impress upon you both that the work of this foundation is classified. There's no need to remind us. We both signed the official secrets form. And all I need to do is to emphasize the necessity of keeping your mouth shut. Okay, Professor Krabby Appleton. Jeez. Well, then I've observed that room. I... I, I'm missing East Enders. <laughs> Sheila, Sheila, how's it going? It's the Annie Oakley line of lingerie. She tried to buy turtleneck panties, but they were all out. <laughs> it's the hair, isn't it? I want you. I want her, Mike. I know, I know. It's a kind of picnic underwear. It's wonderful. She got that from the Ellie Mae's secret catalog. I really do want her, Mike. In fact, I I'm going up there sit right now. Sit down there. I don't think you can Let do that. Let me go. That. I'm sit, going up there. Sit down. Oh, want her. Ah, Sheila, you've been going heavy on the scones and lemon curd lately, haven't you? There's no reason why Dr. Mitchell and I cannot complete the experiment just to show what success we've achieved, if for, for Dr. Steiner's sake. A nice sentiment, Dr. Hill. You assume I noticed that Professor Steiner himself would not be able to continue. But Don't I didn't mean... yourself, Blanchard. He has succeeded. And what's more, he could be back here in his office at any time. So drop then, dead! <laughs> if he retains his faculties, he will know that it will not be to much purpose. Sometimes you're so cruel that I think that you must have some other motive. Are you Kim Philby? Miss Anderson is, uh... She will think I've forgotten her. If there's anyone Sheila can be trusted with, it's him. Yep. Oh, that man gives me the shudders. Well, he certainly has a whip hand now. Whip hand? Oh, my, I never... I'll have to ring him up sometime. Yes. Whip hand. Mm. <sighs> yes, England, famous for its noisy light switches and telephones. <laughs> hmm, my 230 security guard is here. Well, how do you lose a whole naked woman? Oh, I've done it many times. Huh. He's going to take the lorry to the lift to the loo. Hey, he's not keeping that door closed at all times. And this floor must never be walked on. It's Keith Richards again. Yep. <sighs> Must have surprised a hedgehog. <laughs> hey, there's Charlie Parker's shadow on the wall. Oh, yeah. <laughs> nice We're not up to code. This repair will have to be financed through a vigorous capital improvements campaign. There's a part of my face not covered in fur. <laughs> Someone's trilling. Calvin? I know. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so the only colorful thing in Britain is the throw pillows. And their teeth. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. There's that, too. God, I'm tired. I wasn't even asking. Gee. <laughs> what would you like, a drink? Mm. Yes, please. She's dressed like a Mongolian horseman. <laughs> Is it such a little while ago since we were here? It's about four hours. Look, are you too tired even for a few minutes? Because I don't take long. Don't look so worried. We don't know what's happened. Ooh. It's not the end of the world, anyway. For Paul, it could be. Boy, big headache. Yeah. Oh, big. You really are fond of him, aren't you? Of course. But it's you I love. Let's find you a girlfriend. I, I know you're going to gag if I do this, but I, I got to give it a try here. Huh. Never gotten this far before. What's, what's wrong with her? <laughs> a kiss with all the passion of a gray Brixton afternoon. <laughs> oh, the horrible aftermath of their kiss. Oh. <laughs> Who wants an omelet? Until you answer to my question. First, who won the Heisman Trophy in 57? What do you know about this Van Laser? But I'm only a secretary. Oh, you have <sighs> once 
Help me again. It's, it's my eyes. They're hurting. Oh, Sheila. Dr. Mitchell thought I ought to see a doctor. Oh. It's all right, Sheila. You can use the name. I know who I am. Tell me about Latham. Then we'll see about a doctor. I want her. Well, Night. he spent a lot of time with Dr. Blanchard, but no one ever knew what he was exactly. What do you think he was doing, Sheila? <laughs> Flying on us? Oh, please, Professor, I don't know. Truly, I don't. When I wasn't there, did I of them go into lab without me? Did I dole lab? Yes. What? Wasn't it all right? No, it wasn't. But live and learn. How often? Several times. Mostly Mr. Latham by himself. Why didn't you tell me? It wasn't for me to question him, Professor. I thought oh. you'd know. Oh, Please, Sheila. can I go and bathe my eyes now? Leave her alone. Did they ask you to keep this as a secret? Don't worry, I'm not going to harm you, did they? Don't point your well, diaper at not me. Not exactly. Not exactly. Either you know or you don't, which is it? Well, Dr. Blanchard did tell me once that I was working for the Foundation, not you. God bless you. I see. We're out of one eye. All right, Sheila. Go and raise your eyes. Then I can go. We'll see. Uh, again, out of one eye. Oh, no, she's going to go get dressed. No, <laughs> Sheila, don't. <laughs> Good morning, Mr. Limpy. Oh, we got to see this guy all post-coital and glowing. No. Sorry I need you in the groin when you tried to kiss me. <laughs> Would you like some soggy linguine? I mean tea. Ah, don't pour it there. Ow. Oh. How long ago did you leave me? That's her sexy nightgown. Just as long as it takes to make coffee. You move too quietly. Well, bang around like an elk, it'll make you happy. Come back to bed. Don't you realize that it's a new day? Called Gablunky Day. We just invented it. <laughs> it's been no word. No. Here, drink your coffee. I'll telephone. Oh, they're calling back. I took the liberty of ordering you a pump. Yeah? Unsatisfied. I mean, Betty. Oh. Dr. Blanchard. Y yes, that was us. Too much squeaking? Oh, dreadfully sorry. <laughs> yes. Yes, as quickly as we can. Uh, that's all he can do, to tell you the truth. Something dreadful's happened at the lab. Is it him? Blanchard didn't say, but he sounded... Pale, snooty. Frightened. Wham, detached, British. Tell my eyebrows I love them. How much longer will they be? Any moment, I should think. Mm. Mm, sorry, I floated one there. <laughs> Hi, we had sex. Tell them, honey. Hey, everybody, we had sex and it was great. <laughs> sex here. That's a British sport ute. <laughs> Welcome to Euro Jack in the Box. Dr. Hill, Dr. Mitchell. I'm Dr. Doorman. So, how are you? Oh. It's not. I am sorry to bring you back. We needed help killing this scene. Who are you expecting it to be? We were half expecting it to be Professor Steiner. I see. And the other half? Now, oh, answer my questions quickly. I want my squad here fast. Until this official secret thing's cleared up, I can't. Right. What was on those computers? Porn. No, wait, no. Program oh. shapes of our experiments. Where are they? That's roughly what I'm asking you. I think he asked rather gently. Yeah. Yeah. Now, don't touch anything. I wasn't going to. There's no need to look any further. These were the tapes. No, don't touch that. Or that. Or that. No. Nope. Dr. Blanchard tells me you're a pathologist. Oh, thank you. Until my surgeon gets here, anything you can tell me about how he died? Well, at first sight, I would say electrocution. Mm, at first sight, I'd say electrocution. Can you just mm. for that? The man's hat. Why no. do you... What do you... Well, I think I can. Yes. It's too much for it to be a coincidence. I've seen the very same thing earlier on. Pan scan. Pan scan. Well, there's... No possible doubt why the lights went out last night. Somebody's fused the main power line. I know, because our beam is slightly chipped. You mean him? No, no, he'd uh, still be hanging there, charred to a cinder. Well, what about those tapes? Rosemary Woods erased them. Well, as far as I can tell, they're all there. The result of several years of work in ruins. Bummer. What do you mean, all your programs? 
Every single one. Do you have records, notes? Not one. For security reasons, the tapes weren't transcribed. We were going to do it when the experiments were completed. But you could replace them. No. Not without Steiner. Can I get on? Well, he's dead, but knock yourself out. Yes, Inspector. Yeah. The tapes are destroyed, and there is nothing left of a secret nature. What was Latham doing here? Fluffing my beard. That <laughs> is for the inspector to determine. Thank you. What time did the lights go out? Oh, it was about 2.15, wasn't it? Just about. Inspector. Inspector yourself. I'll be in my office when you huh? want me. Good, good. Ooh. Don't leave the building without letting me know. I had no such intention. Tush, piffery, mummy pots. Now, this experiment Dr. Banter was talking about, the one that brought you back here last night. Tell me about it. Well, we left uh, Professor Steiner completing the report. <laughs> I miss him already. We got anxious about him and we fell asleep. Perhaps a fresh bow tie will perk me up. The United States calling a Mrs. Floyd for Mr. Floyd. Uh, well. And he heads right for the liquor, ah, of yes. course. Let's see, what would Churchill do? Ah, yes, get drunk. Oh, have a screwdriver without that nasty, bitter orange juice. Yes. Jesus, Pablo Casals in his closet? I mean, what? <laughs> well, here's to my leonine hair. Ah! Fire! Oh, no. oh Jesus. Just the phone. phone again. They want to make sure Pete Townsend could hear it, I guess. See, will he get to the phone scene? 20 minutes of pure terror. Yes? President Garfield here. Is Latham with you? If so, you win $500. Who's that? Where is Latham Blanchard? I asked, who's that speaking? I'm an associate. Well, I have an associate's degree. I'm... In fact, you might say that we're very close. <laughs> you understand? You stinky, is this you? Latham <laughs> <laughs> said. Stinky. Then who has the tapes? The tapes have been destroyed. <laughs> Hey, guys, thinking of dyeing my hair orange. Whoa, 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 whoa Mike, stop right there. Careful. What? Stand back, what? Mike. Our experiments have given Crow the touch of death. Touch of death, yep. I mean your experiments. Well, you know, in projectedness activity, you know. Right. All right, all right. You know, call me a skeptic, but I have my doubts that Crow has the touch of death. I right. do so have the touch of death. He does. Why couldn't I have the touch of death? Yeah. What, because I don't have a diaper on half my face? Yeah. Why don't you ever believe me? Ever! Boy! Just look what you Jesus. did. Jesus. Jesus. I'm sorry, Crow. I, I just, uh, I was just fooling around. I, okay, you have the touch of death. I'm sorry. <sighs> uh, okay, I'm sorry, too. Yeah. I'm a little tense, and I overreacted, Mike. I'm sorry. Okay, shake. Oh, there of you course, go. yeah. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Oops. <laughs> huh. Huh. Yeah, I forgot for a second there. Killed Mike. Yep, sure did. How are you going to see that with your touch of death? Touch no. of death, yep. Yep. Hence the name, I guess. You know. <laughs> Death. Death. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, well, this is uh, darned inconvenient, Mike yep. dying like this. Yep, yep. We're gonna have to get him in to watch the movie. I mean, he can't get in there himself. Yep. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess uh, we'd better get a head start on it, huh? Right, right, right. Okay. Real good, then. Okay, let's go. Okay. Heave, heave. Oh, oh, oh boy, watch out! Whoa, 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 watch out! Oh. Oops. Darn. <laughs> okay, right. here we go again. Okay, let's give it a try. Use your legs to lift. I don't have any. Oh, right. Sorry. Okay, okay. here we go. Heave. Ho! Oh. Ho! Oh. 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 Wait, 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 I forgot something. We'll be right back. Coming. Hey, I thought you didn't have legs. I don't. And where'd you get the footsteps? I don't quite... Good question. <laughs> well, back to it. Okay. Eve! Oh. 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 Boy, he's a big one. Eve! Oh. Oh. Wait, wait. Well, he's like a wow. He's a big one. Okay, wait, watch his head there. Okay, okay, ready? okay. Up. We got him. Oh, wait. Oh, I almost we don't lost. Know what oh, wow. The intelligence oh. Would have there. There. Uh, do it. Good job. Well, presuming that he did do it. <sighs> okay, then we're he ready. Must have been Let's capable go. Of right. Finding his way back here. So why didn't we try his apartment? Hey, three's a crowd, Lumpy. <laughs> but I can't stop here. Someone will be starting to look for me. My mum, most likely. 
Don't wait. Oh, 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 we're losing him. Oh, she's used to me being out Get him up. Get him up. Anyway, Dr. Blanchard was going to have you driven home. Has he taken a liking to you? He is my boss. That I'm uh, beginning to understand. Right. Oh. Just gonna nip out for a case of sure grips. <laughs> Don't leave me alone. At least give me a robe or some pants. I'm wearing a jock on my face. What am I doing? George Harrison Fan Club, could you hold, please? She escapes and immediately moves in with Edie Sedgwick. <laughs> Sorry, can't help. Best of luck. Stiff upper lip then. Oh, oh, he's going. Oh, here he's he comes going. again. Oh, we got to do something about this crow. Okay. Yeah, so, try like holding him again. Let's, let's see what happens if I shake his hand again. Oh, 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 oh wow. I'm alive, guys. I died and I've been reborn. I've glimpsed truth. Oh, it's this movie. Oh, come on. You help me a lot. Sorry I killed you, Mike. I feel a bit better now. Good. Oh, man. You okay? You know where Blanchard lives? Yes. Can you kill Come me on, again? Not too late. Uh, oh, never mind. Man, I forgot I had all this homework. Thrill as he does his taxes. A screen explodes with his light clerical work. The hottest typing and filing of the year. So I have the touch of life, too, I guess. Yeah. That's cool. Appreciate that. Walking in Mayfair, walking with my Darby and my bumper shoot. <laughs> okay, 1956 pudding receipts, haggis bills for the last year. No sure grips for this job, I'm riding bareback. <laughs> Change me. Hey, the hair looks great. Stein. Stein. Hey, paid for the effect. Might as well show you the whole thing. There. Oh, my God. Give me some skin. Really, I mean it. Give me oh some skin. No. 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 No, no, please, no. No. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, hey, my headache's gone. <laughs> huh. So the lesson I get from this, Mike, is to never cut off someone's research grant funding without a proper hearing. Reconvene the board and give it the time and respect it deserves. Mm -hmm. Oh man, the pudding goes right to his butt. Look at <laughs> it's just why is it? Pudding butt. I've never seen dogs do that. Well, if the girl hadn't stayed unconscious so long, we might have prevented this. Stupid girl. After what she said, are you still in any doubt? Afraid not. Who said that? Do you know anywhere else he's likely to go? Might have taken the M5 to ponce down on Heifer. Those people on the building side. I want them. Do you think he killed them accidentally? I think he panicked and just didn't know what would happen when he touched them. Yeah, I always kill when I panic. As far as I know, there's no one else from the Foundation he'll go after. No, he'll probably try and hole up somewhere. Now that his flat's burnt out, could he go back to the lab? <laughs> oh, they're covered. Well, I'll just have to go on looking. I should imagine a few frightened people will soon put me onto him. Where will you be? At home. Oh, right, with your sex and all that. Right. <laughs> just take the address and telephone number. In case I have to disturb you. I think I'll head down to the bank, panic, kill the branch manager, take all the money. Panic. Wow, they couldn't afford doors, so they just have handles there. <laughs> ah, well then, um, ah, I suppose. <laughs> ah, what? <laughs> yes, um, rawr. Man, this really bites. I'm going over to Dark Man's house. He'll understand me. I feel so helpless like. So could you untie me? Shouldn't we be out looking for him? No, because that would be doing something. Where would we look? Well, they'll call us as soon as he's located. Chris, why did this have to happen? This is actual English sex. Not yes. <laughs> Blanchard's doing would leave them behind it. Paul knew that. Yeah. Well, whatever they did, they've paid for it. She's napping on Big Bird. <laughs> Chris, Big I'm Bird. so pleased you're here. I couldn't bear this alone. Inspector, thanks to you, too. Righto. We don't have to. Oh, no. They're going to make more British people. Yuck. Grandpa's walking around outside in his jammies again. 
a day. My panic made me methodically kill 11 people and a cat. Oh, son of a... I forgot to go to the store and electrocute the clerk and pick up some milk. Now just get a key made, would you? The British Slightly Less Dismal Sex video series. Paul! Well, jump in, Paul! Oh. How did you get in? Ah, oh, look at you two kids. I love you. I could eat you up. Why didn't you send for us instead of using Sheila? Hmm? It was madness. I'm not mad. But why you, Sheila? Why not us? Don't you trust her? You dare to ask if I trust you. But you can, Paul. No. No. You want to destroy me so you can go on with your lovemaking. <laughs> why did you come here, then? Uh, hold on, I left my galoshes here. I need power. Don't we all? Power to help me think clearly. But you can get it at the lab while I program a tape to cure you. I'll find it myself. Hey, Pink Floyd's animals. I see where I can get Big it. No, well, you can't walk around London, and somewhere you'll be destroyed. Uh, Let them try. Sir, Steiner, I know what's wrong with you. Liar! I mean this energy discharge that kills people. Oh, but I like Couldn't that. Realign the laser beam. The magnetic field was out of step, as in the early experiments. Paul, I beg you, do what Chris asks. He just wants to get me out of the way. You are out of the way. <laughs> Stay him! <laughs> Unless you let us help you, there's no hope for you. You destroyed all our tapes when you killed Lathal. If I can get back to the lab, I can begin to program a reversal tape. Oh, and try putting a light bulb in your mouth. It'll be funny. What can anyone do about that? Mm. A pew! A pew! <laughs> so the cover stick isn't helping, huh? Let him go. Can we? We must think of a way of getting him back to the lab. It's the only way he can be helped. Ah, uh, wait. What'd I do wrong? I can't see a damn thing. Oh, jeez. Who's he taping it to, by the way? Good question. <laughs> now he meets John Merrick on the way out. Rondo Hatton drops by later. Oh, and my trick knee gives out on top of everything else. Damn. Let's casually discuss doing some research on this unfortunate situation. Get me Inspector Davis. This is urgent. You can't, Chris. What'd she call him? Uh, alternative. I Inspector Davis? This is Dr. Mitchell. Yes, Dennis's dad. I know where you can find Professor Steiner. But shouldn't there be a pig floating above that? Ha ha, Sherrod you are. Oh, well they're going to see a performance piece in Soho. He's disguised as a door. Tonight's episode, Foam Side, Death Side. All right, we're going in. Thompson, find out who's in charge here. Tell him what's going on, and tell him to keep his people out of this section until I give the word it's safe. Right, sir. Right. And the rest of you, have got your special issue? Oh, yes, sir. At the first sign of resistance, shoot. And shoot straight if you want to keep alive. <laughs> not now, not me! I don't mean to shoot him down. But if he refuses to be helped, he'll have to be destroyed. But he was so gentle. Well, try to think of him as he is, not as he was. Hmm? Think of him as the projected man who has nothing in common with Paul huh? Stein. Open the gates, we're going through now. Think of him as a man with a face like a rolled pork roast. Former, don't take any unnecessary risks. Wear a back brace when transporting a piano. <laughs> well, there he is. One guy on the run. Bullets bounce off his face diaper. Aim carefully, make sure you hit him. Thanks, Lieutenant Obvious. Oh man, I had those sparklers for lunch. Oh. Oh. Good inspector, bullets aren't gonna stop you. Gotta go kill a cat. Be right back. Drive straight at him. Great. Scotland Yard's elite hit and run squad. Oh. Yes, he now has the power to jog slowly away from cars in his pajamas. Well, let's let him go. He'll apply for another grant soon, and we'll turn it right down. So how's he going to get power here? Just put his mouth on the tap or what? <laughs> Okay, whistle, five second violation on this shot. Yeah. Spec, what is it? If you go in there, someone's going to get killed. 
Any suggestions? I'd like it to be you. <laughs> Only that somehow we've got to persuade him to come back with us to the laboratory. And how do you expect to do that? Let me go. I'll get him to come back. Don't be crazy. Look at that. Uh, you can't see anything, but look at that. There alone. Chris, you go back to the laboratory and start programming a reversal tape. Yeah. The inspector will watch out for me. I will if he goes with you. <laughs> no, I must go alone. And Chris's tenuous manhood takes another blow. Whoa, oh, you are whipped, man. <laughs> I'm calling you out, projected man. Paul? High Plains matron. Uh, warriors, come out and play, hey? She rode into town with nothing but a pantsuit and a side iron. She's pale. She's a matron. Come on, pizza face. Get your projected butt out here. Yeah, he's in there sucking on car batteries now. Who knows? Paw? Paw? What is this, the rifleman now? Where are you? I uh, found a whole mess of cats over here. I'm so happy. Paw, listen to me. Think of all the things we used to discuss in our dry and impersonal British way. Paul, you must trust me. Please take my second party personal check. Paul, we can get you face diapers with more absorbency. Oh man, that's annoying, Paul. Paul, don't you realize every time you discharge energy like that, you weaken yourself? Leave me alone. Go away. Let me find more flower. More flower? Oh. What? Come back to the laboratory. Let us work together to get you well. Nothing can help me. Damn car, such a lemon. Paul, why are you doing that to frighten me? No, I'm just trying to get the distributor cap off. It's a bear. Chris has gone back. Chris. Yeah, you know, worked in your lab and all. See all you can think about. Go away. Go back here, Chris. <laughs> You want me to destroy myself? Oh, that'd be just smashing. Thank you, Paul. <laughs> oh. Whoa, Charlie Horse, just a minute. Uh, yes, great monsters of the cinema. Frankenstein's monster. Ooh. Dracula. <gasps> Paul. Well, I huh? <laughs> Come back to the laboratory. We can give you all the energy that you need. You, Charles, this isn't the trap. Huh? Dr. Hill, are you all right? Go away! Keep out! I'm chatting up the freak! I, I mean, I... I, I... Shh, shh. Look, Paul, I'm tired, too. I'm going to go back to the car. You can follow me if you wish. Your random homicides are beginning to get me slightly peeved. Is that a goat's rear end? Oh, no, no, it's his head. <laughs> Sorry. It's not here. <laughs> the monster Paul. One thin matron rides away. Wait. Oh, no, no, so, so now Lembeck rides back into the movie, right? Yeah. On yeah. a big white horse, and Lembeck sings a big production number and gives everybody grants. Yes. Why the quail egg in his eye, anyway? If you fuse the switchboard now, I can't do anything. Console is programmed for a reversal process. Get away. It's all over. Finished. Just let me say goodbye to the rat. <laughs> oh, Paul, uh, settle a bet. Did you methodically kill the three burglars because you panicked? We're a little fuzzy on the panic thing, really. What the hell is he doing? Oh, he's just doing his patented head-meltingly annoying sound effect routine. <sighs> Heard it in the Can't we stop him? It's a reversal program. Projectors become an instrument of destruction. That it's awesome destructiveness. Yes. <laughs> oh, sorry, you guys. My panic came back again. He's projecting at will now from downtown. I am the craw. Huh. There. 
Well, this is kind of an ambiguous ending. Is this film horrible, or did it merely suck? Yeah, now that I've seen it, should I kick a dog or a cat? Do I want the director just killed, or should he be tortured first? No, crawl, no, I'm sorry, on. I just... Uh, this projector could win! The projected world of Arthur Brown. Should we help him? No, 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 no. Oh my, what a world, what a world. I'm melting all my beautiful wickedness. Who would have thought of blah, 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 you et cetera, know. Etc, 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 etc. Makes you hungry, doesn't it? Ah. Crap draft. See, not backdraft. Ah, so the movie and all the actors in it roast in hell. Yay! Oh, that's not... No. So, no more Sheila in her underwear, huh? No, I'm afraid not, Tom. Oh, yeah, there's gonna be. Because I'm gonna sit here, and I ain't gonna budge till I see Sheila in her underwear again. And not you, or the police, or the National Guard can drag me out of here. No, no, no. I don't care if you have to film scenes of her now. Today, 60 years old, grandmother of 12, uh, I want Sheila in her underwear. Hold still, I Tom. Sheila, no, no, hold still. Sheila, no, Just gonna no, give you your medication. No, no. Yes, hold no, still. No, 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 no. There. There. Hey. Feel better? Yeah, I do. What was in those pills, anyway? Bacon. Bacon, huh? <laughs> Worked great. I feel wonderful. <laughs> okay, it's Grant Day, everyone. What do you got for me? I'll go, I'll go. <clears throat> okay. Mr. Nelson, let me commend your wisdom and prudence in establishing the Michael J. Nelson Foundation. And I thank you in advance for the anticipated approval of my request of $50, enabling me to complete development of a water engine. <laughs> Long a dream of humankind. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, whatever. You got a demonstration for me? Oh, oh, right, right. Sure, sure. If you could pour the distilled water in there, please. Oh, sure. Okay, come on, baby. Come on, work with me. What the, come on, come on. What? Uh, hmm. Wait, wait, hang on. Did I get distilled water, or...? I guess I don't know, and uh, we can't fund a project that doesn't work. I'm sorry. What, what, it does work, I tell you. You're being a fool for making such a hasty decision. Whoa. <laughs> so you have no interest in maintaining a cordial relationship with the Michael J. Nelson Foundation? Oh, oh wait, I'm sorry. I apologize, Mr. Nelson. I respect the Foundation. I, I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Yeah. You know, I guess I have no choice but to fund Mr. Crow and, uh... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I need, uh, $50 to, uh, what did I put down there? Oh, yeah, $50 to buy two leaf blowers and a hat. Oh, right. well, congratulations. Oh, 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 <laughs> thank, oh, you. thank you. I thank come you to much. you with a water engine and you give this slithering fraud money for leaf blowers hey. and a hat? Ah, I'm sorry. Your process is painstaking and exemplary. I, I, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mr. Servo, if you could excuse us, we are having a grantee's reception. Yes, grant. Of course. I'm delighted to leave. Thank you for your rejection. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. Let's have a little wine and then view the Foundation's art, shall we? Delightful. <laughs> <laughs> Reclaimed my destiny. As a forester, I owe it to the world to take over the world. I shall dedicate my considerable genius to this and nothing else. Well, I also do like those bus trips down to the dog track outside Omaha. It's a fun time and a real good deal. And to tell you the truth, I usually come out pretty good. I just Think have a feel for playing the, the puppies. I don't know just what. Just a tad, you might want to get back. Cower world, drumble world, run. And mule and puke and terror world. Ready? Harge! My cat had the kittens. I gave them away. Now I only have three kittens left. Her left. Her left. Right. Left. When riding around in the park, you should always shout out on your left. Left. Oh, God. Oh, 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 oh.
Lembach is staying in London for another few days.